can you share a little bit about the role mm -hmm. that technology is playing mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. caste-based discrimination? So of course, like for the Indian criminal justice system, uh, you know, great sort of reference point is what has happened in the American criminal justice system, right? Uh, which is sort of building these huge databases, uh, you know, digitizing the criminal records of different people, you know, syncing them with like healthcare databases, uh, so on and so forth. And also sort of pushing for predictive policing um, and technologies of artificial intelligence that will determine who's more likely to be committing a crime, right? Uh, and I mean, we're seeing that work now happening in India where these sort of the data, the data that existed in police stations is now all being digitized and being centralized uh, and a sort of like digital mapping of uh, different people is being done. And, 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 and the sort of peg for this is to say, you know, we want technology in order to be able to eliminate human bias. So, you know, the police is inflicting violence against certain people. The problem here is a problem of human bias and we're going to fix that with technology uh, which is supposed to be a neutral sort of entity. Um, so the way that we're looking at it is to say that technology is being superimposed onto a system uh, which is inherently unequal and violent, right? So any kind of veneer uh, that is added to a system that is inherently violent uh, is also going to be violent. So the police databases which currently exist in the form of you know registers in police stations uh, do maintain like do contain information of people that say for instance belong to the denotified tribal communities who are termed as habitual offenders right if this database that currently exists in a physical form were to be digitized it's the same sort of data uh, the you know, the sort of methodology of which is casteist is now going to be replicated in a digital form. So what we are saying is that we're looking at the rise of a digital caste system and a digital version of policing, right? And the whole argument of saying that technology is going to make this neutral is a complete hoax simply because, you know, the question of policing is not a question of bias. That is that is an individual question, right? It's a structural question and technology is sort of tapping into that. 